Rescue mission, day 47. Good morning, guys and gals. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. This might be the last episode. I'm not sure. We're going to find out. There, there, are, there might be a night mission uh, that we can tackle. Oh, I at least need to do the Dandori challenge and do it right. So we're going to be doing that this morning. Uh, we're going to be curing this leafling and talking to them. But a lot of the boxes are being checked off now. We, we built every structure last episode. Uh, we... Completed two series. I did not expect this guy to look like this. That's significantly lamer. The venture capitalist, Fox, from the planet of Kohan, acquired his enormous wealth by creating, then subsequently selling, IT startups. His motto is, be the first to jump ship. <laughs> what, a, what a great motto that is. He reminds me of a certain someone and a certain... Third to last led letter of the alphabet. Uh, where is he? I'd like to talk to this man. Oh, we have some quests. One sec. Hey! Thank you so much. Your work is not just satisfactory, it's outstanding. Mission complete. I might very well be able to upgrade, uh, upgrade my whistle this episode. Once I study the structures you've built or repaired, I'll, I'll be sure to make a groundbreaking discovery. And then I'm going to put your name into my paper. <laughs> Just you wait. And then... That's a quest complete over there for Francois. This is the last time I will ever speak in this, uh, this adventure. I have to make sure it is as offensive to the French people as possible. Is that not Pal's aim? After all, he is French, so it is... Not. It cannot be offensive. That is how it works. Flowers, 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 flowers. Thank you, King Kingsley. Inspiring words that I continue to live by every single day. More flowers, please. More, just more of them. More of them. And then, where is this guy, Fox? Tom? Ah. You're the one who rescued me. I'm Fox. I know what comes next. You want me to thank you, right? By the way, how much are you charging me for that? I do hope it's not exorbitant. Dang. It's what? It's free! So this Rescue Corps is a charity group, then? I hate charities! Unless they're mine, then I love the tax breaks. I wonder. You know, Alpin and I travel here together, but somehow he was rescued before me. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, we were on the same spaceship. Did I land in a bad location? Great, I've fallen behind him now. Alpin and I have known each other for a long time. We seem to get along well despite our differences. Or maybe he just puts up with me. I'm what you call an investor. You might not guess it by looking at me, but I used to own multiple IT companies. I eventually sold them all and used the resulting assets to set myself up as an investor. I decided to come here with Alpin because he told me that he was going to develop a new business, or businesses. There are a lot of interesting things here, so investing in him seemed like a sound financial move. To the bell. Lately, I make a living by being a corporate advisor, consultant, and guest speaker. I give advice about things like business management policies and advertising. Can the bell. Observing different companies' business trends is part of my daily routine. I might even say it's become my hobby. My other hobby is collecting news. I save articles and follow the state of affairs. Alpin can be a handful. He likes to do things his way, so he needs someone to be the voice of reason. One time, he, ha he had this business idea. I told him it was no good, but he didn't listen. He was so sure it would be successful. He got burned pretty bad on that one. Guess that's when he started listening to me a bit more. Since the rescue corps officer saved me, I have had the chance to recover from being leafified. When I was a leafling, everything was very strange. I felt like I was possessed. I uh, was completely obsessed with the art of Dandori. It was alarming. Every thought was about utilizing efficient Dandori skills. Honestly, I'm not really a social person. It's probably why I'm not that comfortable in group settings. That was one of the reasons I chose to be an investor. You don't really need a lot of close interaction with others. Alpin crosses my social boundaries, but somehow I don't mind when he does it. I guess that's how I became such a good friend. It all looks like hard work, really. If I were you, I'd take a little time to relax. Could you do? do you plan to continue working for the Rescue Corps? If so, you might want to take a few breaks if you don't burn out. Is that it? 
Alpin and I have known each other for a long time. Okay, that's that's it. That's it. Two very rich blonde men. I don't know if they're trying to make... Why can't I jump up that? I don't know if they're trying to make a crack at Swedes, or if they just chose two blonde men. Probably the latter. Dan Dory challenge! Or battle? Challenge? Challenge. Let's do it. Oh, I silvered two of them? Hello? Let's fix that right now. I can't, I can't stand the sight of silver. Planning pools. I silvered it. Yikes, okay. Oh, I remember this one. This one was rough. Okay, this one's gonna be tough. Whoa, that shattered it. Oh, that's a time saver in a, like a half. Okay. Okay, that needs to be dealt with. That'll be enough. <gasps> I just did that. I just did that. Oh no. Ah, uh, I just threw yellows into water. I just threw yellows into water. Good job, pal. Oh my word, I can't not lock on that. <sighs> Perfect. We're doing it. Crushed it. Go as quick as you can. That's it. Check the map. Map's clear. Easy plat. Easy plat. Forget the fact that it took me like three, tri three tries. Easy platinum. You just gotta budget out your Pikmin properly and recognize when Ochi is just the fastest way to kill something. Got him. Especially since I know a trick now. Charge. Just breaks these things. Then they're out. Then we'll deal with the Wallywog. Ochi can murder everything. Ochi takes so little damage, and he regenerates now, so he's, he's effectively invulnerable. Okay, you guys deal with that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I just endangered them. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try completing this even though I just lost everything. Let's keep idler. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like I had a bunch of idle. So this, this will round this out. By the time they get back, these ones will be outbound, so it didn't much matter. There is a lot of room left to uh, optimize this, actually. And I might fail, I'm not gonna fail it. I almost wanna redo it. I think I could crush this thing harder. I'm gonna do it. For myself. 30 seconds left. Boom. Plat. Let us meditate together to uh, together again. Nope. No extra dialogue. Alright. Is there another night mission? Let's see. One more? No. That's 100%. There is no third night mission. I find that kind of... Disappointing to be honest. The last two areas only had two and everyone else had three. But we have faced the hardest that the night missions have to throw at us. Meaning this last cure that I have is for that last leafling, is for Nelly. That's hard proof right there. Unless we have to go in again, but I don't see them making us do that. What else can I unlock? We have four left. Do we get special dialogue for this? Keep up the good work and remember. Stuff. Yeah, we have we have extra dialogue. Hmm. That look on your face. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. It it is time. You and Ochi are ready. Learn all Ochi skills. Mission complete. A legendary skill can now be learned. The Ultimate secret's been passed down in my family for generations. Master it and you'll be initiated into the shepherd way. Okay, what is it? We have the stuff for it. We can just get it right now. The culmination of all your training, it's part of your DNA now. So get out there. Carry out your mission with confidence. What training do we get? Infinite rush! 
Whoa! Whoa! That's a cool reward. Wait, we, we don't have eight, though. We don't have eight. I can't learn it. Is this an after-game skill only? That's disappointing. Okay, well. Oh, well. And we have 159, which is 100 off from getting his reward. So we are going to be heading into the end of this uh, with the two ultimate rewards not unlocked. Let's do it. It probably won't be the last day. It might be the last day. 59%. I'd be impressed if we were able to do 41% in one day, but we almost did that uh, two days from ago, so there's a chance. Let's go. First and foremost, I want to figure out that pink onion. That's that's an actual problem. Uh, there, we've sur we've explored everything surrounding it, so there's only one thing left to do. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the party after I pluck all my Pikmin. Purples, whites, pinks, maybe blues. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. The comments have been yelling at me. The comments have been yelling at me 100%. We need ice. That's what we need. How am, how can I be this dumb? Okay. Well, let's we don't we may not have have infinite rush. But we need to go back to the old base. And what is the fastest way to do that? I guess it's just here. This is about equidistant, but we need to pluck these. I have a feeling that this requires 100. So, we're actually going to We're gonna go this way. And I'm gonna use charge on cooldown here. It's a shame that that I wasn't able to get the two capstones. I'm hoping that we have one more day. And I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna stall to get that, but I'm, you know. <clears throat> it's unfortunate we do need this. You get that. Yeah, if we get it all in one go, and I'm gonna charge up my, my Pikmin. Then, when we move the base, they'll move with it, and it won't be that inconvenient. Okay, uh... Ochi. I'm gonna command you to come here. We're gonna pluck these Pikmin. We're gonna go scout that out, and if it takes less than a hundred, we're gonna do it. Otherwise, we're going to, uh, have to go back. But the pile of raw material will have been processed by then, so we're gonna find out. Did I waste my time? 100, 100, 100, 80, and we'll have 81! Let's go! Do it! Oh, she's gonna take his dear sweet time. Are those gold piles? Where? When did that happen? Mark that. Okay, so this is frozen. We're good. We get two. We need Ochi for this, unfortunately. And Ochi's here. Sweet. Can we... Ooh. Can we do this with this few Pikmin? Ooh, actually, I have an idea. I have a perfect idea. We probably can. Oh, wait. That takes us back here? How do we get the box, then? We did it. Let's call them. Are we supposed to do some sort of janky, like... Throw? How... Oh, I got it. I got it. That's really weird, and potentially we could kind of screw ourselves out of that. Okay, uh, let's go. First off, this is going the wrong way. We need to move the base. Move the base, put the ice Pikmin away, get, get the white Pikmin out. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Move base. Cool. Ice Pikmin, you're dead to me. Uh, white Pikmin are my new best friends, and flying Pikmin. And we're just gonna go, go ahead and get a, fresh, a head start here. Yeah, because they're they're smart enough. It, they, they, this isn't Pikmin 2, they'll, they'll follow me. They'll follow me to the ends of the earth. Please help that, because I would like to go into my into the Dandori challenge. My, my thought was, if we could get up there with a couple Pikmin, then we could, um go inside the Dandori challenge, and then come out the other side, uh, withdraw our Pikmin, and then get the onion, but I don't think that is going to be required. That's a really weird way of doing it, because if I whistled these Pikmin, I would, I, I would be out of the, out of luck. 
I would be completely out of luck. What happens if I'm standing right here? Did I lose everything? Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so now we can jump up here. And strangely enough, that also closed off that route. A very weird design. Not sure about that. I'm gonna walk by him real quick. And get the pink onion. I wonder if the onion will look substantially different when we get them all. I wonder if it'll look like the Pikmin 3 onion. Well now, that is a downright adorable onion. Something about that color makes it seem like it could float away any second. And of course, tradition dictates that flying Pikmin be the ones to carry that back. I said flying Pikmin be the ones to carry that back. Go on back, and while you do... How's it going? I should have known. I actually saw this leafling, so everything I said about there being one more and it being Nelly was wrong. It's this one. Look, it's a leafling. Dandori anytime. Dandori anywhere. Dandori over and over and over again. That's all I got. Goodbye. Catch me if you dare. Alright, alright, Jeff. Time to show off your Dandori skills to that leafling, Jeff. Uh, we're just gonna keep spamming this. <laughs> How many do I have left? 36? I'm fine. I can just keep using these on cooldown. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so I don't have to go back to base. I'm going to wait for this to play out, because otherwise I'm gonna have to go back to base, uh, move that three inches, and then, and then move the base again. So we're gonna do this right now. For Dandori's sake, the last onion is beautiful. What a colorful onion. What a fantastic array of colors. Now the onion can propagate any type of Pikmin, except for Bulbman. Very weird. How do I even know what that is? Oh, it's this map. We have experience on this map. Let's go. Oasis of Order. I wouldn't call it that. 